views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, this is Patty Hunter. Welcome to my show. My co-host today is Terry Doran. And yes, uh, this is Patty's page, of course. So uh, today's guest is on the phone, and his name is Preston Randolph. Are you there? I'm here, Patty. Can you hear me? As we can hear you. So what's right. up? How are you, dear? Oh, I'm doing all right. Just uh, been real busy these past months, <laughs> but uh, we're doing good. How are you? I'm doing fine. Tell me about yourself. What do you what uh, your position is and what you are doing for Leonard Peltier? Well, um, I'm the producer and director of the upcoming documentary film covering the Peltier case. It's called The Wind Chase of the Sun. Uh, we've been working on this for uh, a little over three years now. Um, most of that has included uh, a lot of research, um, going to a lot of places, speaking to people that have never exposed their story before, and um, you know, just trying to find new information and new testimonies that can help in this case and give an overall audience a better outlook on what happened. And um, you know. I came into this case very open-minded. I wanted to find the truth for myself, and now three years in, I um, I am strongly in favor of the release of Leonard Peltier because I firmly believe that he is an innocent man, and that uh, he has been railroaded to prison. That's right. Um, and like I said, I went into this case very open-minded to both sides. I just wanted to find the truth and dealing with. Um, you know, different individuals in this case and the things that have been told to me and also the things that I have uh, witnessed firsthand and the evidence that I have seen leaves me close to no doubt based on, um, you know, Leonard Vinison. Preston, uh, <coughs> Terry here. Could you uh, just give some examples of some of these things you witnessed firsthand that might be new to a lot of us that even those of us like myself who have followed the Leonard Peltier case, uh, you just give some examples. I'm in interested. Uh, absolutely. So some of the stuff um, we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna reveal until the film's released. But we sure. do have a lot of interesting aspects that we are pursuing. Uh, one thing that really stands out to me, of course, you know, you have different sides. Our um, you have the FBI withholding information still to this day, even though these crimes took place close to four decades ago. Um, Leonard was convicted close to four decades ago, but yet key documents are still being withheld, and we don't know why. Um, we have ideas of why, but yeah. we don't exactly know what's in those. It's 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 scary. Uh, but what what I'm saying. Firsthand, um, you know, I've been able to speak to people that have witnessed abuses toward Leonard that you know haven't haven't came out and actually testified before, and, and we're very excited about this stuff. And these aren't just people that were on Pine Ridge that had um, you know abuses against them by the federal government or FBI, but these are individuals that actually worked on the other side of the case and witnessed it, and they're they're starting to open up. And that's 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 great. Um, and, you know, it's personal things. If the FBI had nothing to, to hide, they wouldn't go to the effort in which they do to keep Leonard in prison. And, you know, now it's been, you know, I started out in this, with this entire film and my own fight to try and help Leonard receive his freedom. I was, you know, I was just a young activist that, 
didn't really know a whole bunch about the case, but I, um, you know, I did a lot of reading after talking. But like I said, I went into this very open-minded, and the only side that has threatened me, that has uh, called me oh, names, God. that have slandered me, that have threatened my well-being, have been the FBI and oh, individuals God. with them. So it's when you put that together as um, you know, with everything else, it shows that there is something to hide. And th if there wasn't something to hide, they wouldn't go to the lengths that they do to try and discredit people that are, are fighting for Leonard or try and, uh, you know, just eliminate efforts which are out there, um, you know, trying to bring justice to this case. And, and that information they're sitting on, they would certainly release it if it uh, boosted their case that Leonard is guilty, which, as you say, well, you know, he's, he's uh, not. We, we've, my research team and I, especially Dan Battaglia, who's my lead researcher, for three years. Now, keep in mind, attorneys and defense committees have been working on this tirelessly for 30 plus years, and um, they have done so much and revealed a lot of evidence and through the Freedom of Information Act and, and everything else like that. And, you know, we're just trying to continue that. So, you know, we're not trying to take any credit from the work that's been done previously, but I'm just... Um, but but you're yeah. adding to that work as well with new information yeah, I, I, I and research. Yeah, I sure hope so. Yes. I sure hope so. And it's a very important film, and you had mentioned before we went on the air that uh, you're taking your time in terms of raising the money so you can do it right and make an impact. Uh, yeah, well, um, how can yeah, people... Ab Sorry. Uh, absolutely. You know, when I started this, I we could have done something that would have been very, very, very low budget um, that hardly anyone would have seen, and that's not in the best interest of anybody. Uh, you know, I wanted, to, I want and wanted to do something that could make an impact and people would see it and that's why we're do, going to do this right and that's why you know we continue to pursue every angle and lead for fundraising that we can um, you know you you have success and you have um, a lot of doors closed in your face you know but um, it's um, it's an ongoing process not only on our the research field of things but in the fundraising and the producing of the project and continuing to get individuals in, involved um, you know it's an ongoing uh, piece of work and you know aside from from the film you know our, our interest is bringing justice to the case and I feel that in today's times with social networks and, and uh, all the multi-platform media approaches we can do this is the way to do it and spread the word to the masses just through major entertainment campaigns like a film or music and, and, and stuff like that and um, you know that that's why we're doing what we're doing but uh, you know aside from the film which is a tool to help Leonard right. um, receive his freedom in, in my mind that's why we're doing it is to expose these atrocities um, but you know my team and I we travel we spread the word um, I've lectured all over the country based on Leonard's case okay. from you know, juvenile facilities in Alaska to universities out east to you know high schools and and um, you know once the film is done you know, that's just the beginning of our work we plan on traveling and, and um, having a lot of showings and um, having speakers that are knowledgeable about the case and just getting things going um, you know we got a lot of a lot of work into this but uh, the last time I, I lectured at a, a high school um, uh, it was about a month ago, but um, you know, Leonard and I we keep in touch, and uh, oh, you do. And uh, anyway, he he called me in the middle of the presentation, mm -hmm. which was which was great. And so I, I put him on the speakers, oh, and yeah. all the kids could hear him. And he told a few stories, and uh, it was just a magical moment. And the you know the teachers and all the the people at the school said it was the most amazing moment in their education that they've experienced wow. as a teacher and these people have been teaching for 20 30 years so it was a real magical moment and i know leonard got a kick out of it and the kids um i know the kids it'll be something that 
they'll be speaking about for a very long time. Where, where was this, Preston? What school or what, what state? Uh, th th this was in a, a school in Wyoming, actually. Wyoming. Oh. Are you going from state to state? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Are you going from state to state? Well, you know, we would like to. Right now, it's just basically where our travels take us uh, because of the, you know, smaller amount of funds right now. Once the yeah. film is made and we have something to present to everybody, then that we plan on going to major cities and and just making making the film available. A lot That's of right. you know, a lot of filmmakers and producers they're all about they're all about money and they want you know, people to have to spend a ton of money to get access to their film. You know, for us, this is a film for a cause and we want <coughs> everyone possible to be able to see the information, to see the film and to make be able to make their mind up. Because within this case, I think, you know, people, a lot of people either don't know about it or they just don't know the facts. They um, look at it from one side or the other, and if they simply say that the trials, you know, the trial and the, they held the trial for Leonard and he was convicted under law and so that means he's guilty then you know they just haven't dug deep enough and, and this is an extremely important case and in cases like Leonard's case uh, we all lose our rights and that's exactly what happened unfortunately they try and sweep it under the rug and hide it to mm -hmm. Americans uh, hide it from Americans and uh, you know that's, that's what's happening and um, by keeping Leonard in prison it just brushes all the dirt off of them and um out of sight out of mind you mean they have. you mean out of sight out of mind that's how that's their way of thinking I'm, I'm sorry patty i'm having a hard time hearing you i said out of sight out of mind yes yeah yeah that's uh they're that's what i would say something. Yeah. yeah i have uh your shirt that i got from your site called Freedom okay. for Leonard Pelch here. And I'm going to show it to everyone. Okay. Can you see it, guys? Can you zoom in? This is Leonard Pelch here, a painting by the dear lad. And it says Freedom. And it has a picture of Leonard with a... Cat or cow head or skull? Yeah, skull head. Dry skull. Yeah. I, I believe it's a self portrait that he painted in prison. Was it self portrait? Um, that, that was a picture uh, taken by a man called uh, named Jeff Scott. He uh, took that of Liv Leonard in Leavenworth, I believe. Yeah. But that um, a graphic artist and friend of mine named Vinnie Karchner, he put that shirt together and and put some designs with it. Yeah. So that was taken from a photograph. Oh, this is just beautiful. I, I love the shirt. I wear it as often as I can, you know, to show people Leonard is, is, is innocent and he should be out of prison. I mean, he shouldn't be in that long. I, he's a political prisoner, isn't he? You know, in my well, eyes. What, yeah, with, with Leonard's case is you know, there are people that do worse crimes and they're let out earlier. See, Leonard, on the other hand, there's no evidence pointing that he even did it. Yeah. So here you have reasonable doubt. You have no, you have nothing distinct that says that he did it. You have no firm piece of evidence that says that this man did it. But yet here he is, 36, 37 years later, still in prison. And he's going to be 38, no, 68, September 12th. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to be doing anything for that time? Um, I think the defense committee, they um, usually have, um, you know, maybe some protests across the country. I'm not positive what's going on this year. Yeah, and um, what about June 26? Are you going to be over to where the fire, um, what do you call it? Um, I'm, I'm going to try to. I, I'm not positive yet. I'm going to try to, but um, every every year, a uh, large group of um, people come and support Leonard and, and honor all those who lost their lives there on the 26th of June. Right. 
and um, you know we march for uh, right around two miles to the jumpy bulls where the firefight took place and they have ceremonies and um, and then I think that night uh, musicians get together and they play and uh, it's, it's a big event thank you uh, Terry? Okay. Well, Delaney said they're going to have a uh, marker there on the site uh, this year. So I think that's really important and good uh, that people will know another way of calling attention to what Leonard is in prison for. Yeah. I know that uh, I had heard they were going to put a marker down or trying to, um, but in. Uh, there is a smaller marker in one of the cemeteries there that um, is in honor of those who lost their lives and, and sacrificed their lives for, uh, for the people on June 26th. What, um, you had mentioned uh, before we went on the air that you'd won an award for a short film. Is that related to the documentary or separate? Uh, no, it's, it's not related to uh, the documentary. But it was a, um, well, uh, living in Wyoming, they have an annual Wyoming film contest, which they award a filmmaker $25,000 to go to their next film. Oh, yeah. Um, so it was close to a week before the deadline, and I decided to put one together. And uh, so my brother and I, we worked hard for a week, and we got it entered, and it won the prize. Ah. Um, we were hoping to put it toward Wind Chase of the Sun. Uh, that's what my plans were. Um, unfortunately, the um, rules and regulations of the contest make it so uh, it has to be based in Wyoming. Everything has to be Wyoming based, all the workers, et cetera. And um, so that obviously doesn't work with the Peltier film. Oh, uh, sorry. But, uh, but it, it was a great win in that and um, it just kind of builds on, on who we are. Yeah, well, congratulations, and it should help you uh, with fundraising for uh, the Leonard documentary. Well, we hope so, and... Um, the prestige. Yeah, the prestige. It's we have, way. you know, we're looking at a lot of different avenues, and we keep pushing forward any way we can. Uh, this September, my research team and I, we've got a big research, camp, uh, well, trip planned out, and... Um, We'll be going through a lot of material, and um, you know that, that's always positive. And you know we got a great crew of guys um, lined up. Just once we, we put in the work, so it's. I mean, if there's a big name investor out there that's looking for a project that they don't have to put a ton of time into, and they just want to fund it or a cause, you know, a cause that they support, you know, this would be it. We have the crew lined up. We have guys that have won Academy Awards working on this film. Um, we have the information. We have three years of hard work already lined up. I mean, this is perfect for any investor. But um, it's just finding the right one that supports the cause, that understands that it's a contemporary issue, that this issue isn't a historical. You know, this, of course, is a, these events took place years ago, but. So many things are very contemporary with with what is going on in America today. Yes. And just the point that Leonard is still in prison for these atrocities, and these, um, you know, a lot of these constitutional violations and and um, abuses of power continue to happen until this day. So it's just convincing people that this is not just a historical film. This is something that is meaningful today. It's very contemporary, and it must be made. And uh, you know, we we've, we've got we're working very hard on that, and, and we're all very confident. And um, it's going to come through. It's just a matter of keeping it on. We have uh, your um, name and what you are, and your website. Can we put it back on so uh, people can write it down? We would love to have people donate, sponsor anything to help Preston Randall make this movie to free 
even to tell us the story of what had happened to Leonard Pelcher and to help free him. If enough people can see this movie that will be coming out, I know it will be Preston, then uh, people are going to be made aware that injustice is happening to the indigenous people here in the United States and throughout the rest of the world where the indigenous natives are. And it didn't just start with Leonard Peltier. No. It started practically the day the Europeans stepped foot on this right. continent. Yeah. So. Well, Preston. Yeah. What are your plans for the future? Uh, I know you need to get sponsors. Uh, is there any way you can be able to get people from all over the world donate not even a couple of dollars. I mean, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are not corporations or businesses, whatever, who would love to donate money to you, to go to your website and get in contact with you and how they can help Leonard Peltier. Is, is uh, that okay for people, not even their life savings, but I mean, five, ten dollars? Well, yeah, every, everything helps. Everything helps. Um, and if, if people have questions for me or they want to contact me or maybe they have a friend who has money or, you know, anything that supports this cause, then um, uh, they can get on the website and they can contact me directly and help us keep keep pushing forward. Because this is something that uh, this, this new generation of Americans need to know. And it's something that the old generation of Americans need to know. Um, a lot of people are unaware. And, and when you throw just simple, when you throw them the basics, something that they're, they're, that the only thing they know about Leonard Peltier is what they've heard from the news. Right. And um, when you give them just a little bit of information and facts, their eyes open. And yes. that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get widespread eye-opening in this country. Not just this country, this but throughout the world, seeing what the, the Americas are doing to the, uh, and, and South America, what they're doing to the indigenous people. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, there was a time in this country where people thought their government could do no wrong. And then people started to stand up when they realized that the government that runs this country is extremely corrupt. And with right. all the lies that politicians have told over the years, all the horrifying things, all the incidents and assassinations brought out by the FBI and wrongdoings that have been proven without doubt, how can people 100% say that Leonard was, get, was given a fair trial, that he is um, guilty? How can people actually say that when they know that they've been lied to? when they can go back and look at all these different cases and incidents throughout the history of the FBI, that they have done very similar, um, you, know, um, you know, procedures against people like, like they are doing to Leonard and have done to Leonard. Mm. Wow. Well, I hope that uh, when it's done and you do your tour and speaking engagements that you'll put our city on your schedule because we'd love to host you and uh, show your documentary here. Oh, absolutely, we'd love that. Oh, that'd be great. Um, great to meet you in person and yes, have a premiere here in the Fort Wayne area and and the, there are uh, Native Americans who live around this area, the Miami natives. There's a lot of Native Americans. Uh, this was a Miami Indian tribe. Uh, centerpiece. Uh, uh, it was called Kikianga before Anthony Wayne came out under orders from George Washington and got rid of most of the native population and what was left was a lot of them were sent uh, out west but there's still a lot of Miamis here and all natives suffer from the oppression of this government and and your film can make a big dent in, in making this right stand up for justice. Is your brother helping you with this film? Um, well, not, not really with the, the Peltier film, no. Yeah. 
Who's helping you? Who do we know is helping you, or, or can you say that? Oh, well, um, you know, we have a lot of uh, big crew lined up. Uh, we were working with Danny Glover and uh, Jocelyn Barnes out of New York. Uh, they've been great in helping us, you know, keep, keep moving forward and contacting certain people that can help us move forward. Uh, you know, Tom Morello, uh, Ryan Bingham's now involved in uh, for the film. Um, you know, depending on shooting schedules and, uh, you know, when funds are met, uh, Sam Coleman, a cinematographer out of New York, he was mm -hmm. recently nominated for an Academy Award for his, uh, he co-directed and did the cinematography for the documentary If the Tree Falls. Uh, you know, we have uh, Corianka Kilcher. Uh, she played Pocahontas in the uh, film The New World. She's a great oh. actress. She's a great, um, you know, producer. And more than anything, she's a great person and a great activist. And, you know, she's fully on board uh, helping us out. Um, and then, of course, uh, a friend of mine, and we've been working on this for a long time, uh, Dan Battaglia out of, uh, out of New Jersey. Oh, yeah. He, um, he uh, works just as hard as I do on this. Uh, do you have a cast of the, who's going to be uh, playing uh, the people, the, you know, like uh, who's going to be Leonard Pelche? Do, can you say who's going to star as him, or is that a well, secret? Well, uh, with this is a documentary, so we we had the opportunity to do, you know, we have an angle to do reenactments, which we would need actors, and mm -hmm. and I was planning on doing that at the very start, but now um, I've completely changed my mind on that. I oh. think that with the information and you know, everything that has to be shown in to our film, you know, we want it all to be factual based. That, that's where the success of this is going to happen. Everything has to be fact that we can prove. It yes. can't be assumption. And uh, by having reenactments, I think in one way or another, it kind of discredits what you're trying to do because basically that's having actors and a director giving their perspective on what events took place. But if we can show uh, a certain document or vintage footage or very rare photographs or something along those lines of certain events, then that's an actual factual um, you know, presentation of what happened. Good. Which is good. Yes. Uh, I prefer that. Um, so how Oh my goodness, we are right down to the wire. Preston, we're just one minute left. Oh my stars. Hey, I'm did you happen to have a camera at the Wyoming school when Leonard called in? Is that on tape of any kind, audio uh, or video? Yeah, I, I do have that on tape. Oh, you well, that should be it. in the documentary. That, that, uh, that's uh, a uh, great uh, piece, I think, it sounds like. Yeah. Well, Leonard, uh, good, I'm glad. Leonard Pelche, we love you. And uh, Preston, thank you for coming on to my show. And thank you. All right. Well, thank you both for having me. Yep, and great work, Preston. Good luck. And if we can help, let us know. Thank you, Terry. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody.